59, get ready. Longest minute ever. Yes. You get it? Hold up. Fifty five. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Hollywood. We are like completely dressed all the same. <laughs> Looks like all it. the girls are wearing yeah. <laughs> all the guys are wearing the same clothes. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Nice. They even got the same hats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Na -na 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 -na, they got some hats. <laughs> Not that kind of hat. I know. <laughs> so we are heading to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway first. Because nothing can stop us now. <laughs> we don't know how. We're gonna make it happen. I'm excited because the pre-show's back. And we haven't seen the pre-show yet, so it'll be fun. Potato land, potato land. Wanna take a ride on the train? pre-show this time which we have not seen yet because the last time we were here and the first time we had done it was before they brought the pre-shows back so now they are back and we got to see it it was cute now we're going on can you see rock and roller coaster ready rocked in yeah, yeah. time to check in I was just telling Dan that there should be a suite here at Hollywood Tower Hotel, just as there is at Cinderella Castle. I feel like that would be fun. Like, you can win a chance to stay in the Hollywood Tower Hotel. How cool would that be? You might hear screaming for a little bit, but it still would be kind of fun. I feel. I'd want to win that. Right, Dan? Right. <laughs> you unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. 
is so good to see the pre-show back. That's another one that we've got to see today. Good stuff. I like them. It just makes them, you know? Builds the anticipation. Sets the tone, you know? Right? Right. Murray? Right. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Dan, are you ready to travel to Batu? Always. Always. Here we go. The transition is so fun. When you visit Batu, there's this amazing drinking fountain spot here. And the water tastes really good. It must be this alien life form that's keeping the water nice. Dan, time to try to get some coaxium. You ready? I'm ready. Hopefully we don't have to fly this hunk of space junk. <laughs> hey. Maybe hopefully we do get to fly this hunk of space. Absolutely. They're still fixing the ship. Do you have an ETA on when it's gonna be ready, you think? No? I mean it's been they've been working on it for a long time. Maybe it's going to be end up like the confectionery. Maybe. You know, or or the Yeti. That one will never be fixed. So, I'm assuming this will never be fixed. Why are you going up? I said down, up is better. 
Studios. We'll see you real soon. We are now part of the resistance. Our mission is complete here. <laughs> Till the next time. Till the next time. Time to head on over to Epcot on the Skyliner. It is a little windy today, Dan. We'll see what happens. It's the Epcot monorail! Yay! Our first sighting of the Epcot monorail's return. So nice to see. Dun, 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 dun. All right, everybody. Our first food and wine 2021 food booth is Flavors from Fire. It is a little bit different this year, I'm located in a different spot, but that's because you know, like everything's torn down. Anyways, we got the corned beef corner route, which is smoked corned beef with crispy potatoes, cheese curds, pickled onions, and beer cheese fondue. I love this one, we've had it before. It's delicious and I'm excited to do it again. The next one is uh, the chimichurri up offense, which is charred chimichurri steak on a smoked corn cake with pickled vegetable slaw and cilantro aioli. Wow. I'm hungry, so let's eat. What are your thoughts, Dan? The uh, first one, the chimichurri. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And the corn. I think it was really good. That was really good. The other one was... It was good, except we remember it being more like chunky pieces of corned beef rather than like yeah. shredded pieces of corned beef. But it was still tasty. Yeah, it was right. The beer cheese was good. And uh, the house made chips were pretty good too. So, good stuff. Starting off with a win. Yeah. Okay, our next food and wine booth was the donut box. So, we got the sriracha glazed donut, crispy chicken sandwich donut. Look at that. Crispy chicken sandwich on a sriracha glazed donut. Wow. It smells really good. I thought that's a bit tough. We also came over into the Odyssey building because they have seating, so you get AC seating, you know, nice and cool. But it's also the site of the Brew Wing booth. Um, we didn't get any wings, but we did, however, get the Beer Flight, which is the Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company Pineapple Vibe Blonde Ale, well, the Central 28 Beer Company um, Road, Groveland Road Blood Orange IPA. Wow, they're mouthful. Um, and then we have the Wicked Weed Brewing Company's Watermelon Dragon Fruit Saison South. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's all complete, let's try it, shall we? All 
our next food and wine booth is China. We got the pan fried chicken dumplings with house made sweet and spicy sauce. Then we also got the Zyran beef bao bun, which is grilled beef with cumin. And of course, the Kung Fu Master, which is absolute vodka, triple sec, mango syrup, orange juice, delicious. You know it's a favorite of mine because you've probably seen it in like every single one of our flower garden and food line videos. So, cheers. All right, our next food and wine booth is Japan, and we have my favorite the teriyaki chicken bun, which is a steamed bun filled with chicken, vegetables, and teriyaki sauce. This has been my favorite for a few years now, and I'm always glad when it comes back, so let's enjoy. I know everybody's probably seen this already, but look at the fountains are all on the harmonious barges. The monstrosity barges, I should say. I'm not really sure if there's a rhyme or reason to them right now. I know that some of them are supposed to be on as fountains during the day, but I'm assuming not all of them. Should be interesting. So, our next booth, food one, we're checking out Appleseed Orchard. We've never had apple seed orchard before. I think this was a few, a few years ago when we came, but we didn't come in here at all. I don't know why. Either way, we got the um, cinnamon apple crumble tart. And then this is the Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company's Appley Ever After Green Apple Sour Ale. Good stuff. 